So in today's video I'm going to be filming this um, eyeshadow tutorial. Uh, this is a look that I wore in one of my previous videos, I think it was the Primark and NYX haul and I did say that if people wanted to see it then I would film a tutorial. So I used the Morphe 35O matte palette to do this eye look. So if you're not familiar with this palette, this is what it looks like. It's very warm toned, lots of lovely red and orange and brown kind of autumnal colours. This is actually one of my favourite palettes um, and this is a look that I do fairly often. I'd say like pretty much the whole of summer I, I wore this look on my eyes. So yeah, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what other sort of colour schemes you'd like to see from the Morphe 35O palette. I really love using this palette so I'd be more than happy to create another look for you. Also please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the video. First things first, I'm going to use my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion, the anti-aging one. So I just squeeze it onto the doe foot and apply it onto my eye like so and now I'm just going to pat that out with my finger and then I like to go in with a concealer just to conceal the veins and the redness on my eyes so I'm going to use my collection lasting perfection concealer and this is in the shade Fair as well, and I'm just going to dot a little bit of that on each eye. Blend it out with my finger. And then set it with a fluffy brush and the lightest shade from the Morphe 35O Matte Palette. I'm going to take my Morphe M505 brush and I'm going to go into this colour just here. It's kind of like the pinky transition shade in the palette. I'm just going to blend this lightly into my crease and concentrate it onto the outer part of my eye. So next I'm going to get my Morphe M441 brush. As you can see it's a little bit stained. Um, this is the brush I always use to apply the red colour. So speaking of red, I'm going to go in with this colour here. I'm going to load up my brush like so. See I've got a fair amount there and I'm going to plop it on the outer corner like that. And just keep patting the colour into the outer corner. So I'm concentrating most of it there before I blend out what's left on the brush. Okay so with the same brush that's still got a tiny bit of product left on it, I'm just going to blend that upwards and outwards. Not going too far above the crease there, I just want it to kind of melt in with the transition shade that I've placed. And I'm blending out all of the edges. I'm going to go back into my transition shade using the same brush as before, so that's the Morphe M505. And I'm just going to blend out the edges a little bit more. And now to re-intensify the whole thing, I'm going to go in with this slightly darker red shade just here. And I'm using my Real Techniques base shadow brush for this. And I'm going to place the brush in the kind of outer V part of my eye and just wiggle it around like so. So I want it to kind of hit right where my crease hits so that most of the colour is there. As you can see. I'm just going to leave that like that. And then grab my Morphe M433 brush and blend out that red slightly. So there we go, that's all the intense blending done. 
So now I'm going to use my Real Techniques Bold Metals 200 brush. And I'm just going to go into just going to go into this shade here which is the second lightest sh shadow in the palette and it's slightly less pink than the transition shade that we used and I'm just going to pat that all over my inner third of my eye and that's that done I'm just going to apply my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara And I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with my Freedom Pro Highlight in the shade Diffused. This is a little sneaky peek of what it looks like. So it's got a slightly pinky tone to it, which is why I like it to highlight my inner corners with this, with this eye look. And I'm using my Morphe E36 brush. It's just a little um, smudger pencil brush type thing. So I'm just going to dot that into my inner corner. So. See, it gives a nice little intense glow there. Just really brightens up the eye look, I feel. And then I'm just going to sweep a little bit of that underneath my eyebrow. I don't normally like to use a shimmer colour underneath my eyebrow, but I find with this matte sort of eye look, it really lifts the eyebrow then. I'm going to use my Benefit Gimme Brow just to brush my brows into place. I'm going to use my NYX Lip Lingerie in this shade number 12, Exotic. Okay, so here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this casual get ready with me. Please let me know in the comments section if there's something that you'd like to see in a future video. Also let me know if there's any other looks that you'd like me to, to do using the Morphe 35O palette. It is actually my favourite palette at the moment. Um, I have both the matte and the shimmer palettes. So if there's a more shimmery look or a more matte look that you want me to do, just let me know and I will try my best to create something for you. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to give it a thumbs down. If you think that this was a load of rubbish, give it a thumbs down. I don't mind. Like It gives me good feedback. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.